Uh, no, it was a two and two week. Uh, you know, started off great against uh, McNeese. Thought we played a very good ball game. Uh, pitched it well, swung it well, defended, uh, and then didn't play very good Friday and Saturday, obviously. And uh, you know, I don't. They caught us at a good time, not swinging it very well. Uh, first innings were rocky. And uh, they countered us with two really good arms, three really, if you count Hickson coming out the back of the bullpen there on Friday. Uh, and then we're able to, to mount an incredible pitching performance yesterday and salvage uh, at least a game, which in the long haul uh, over a 56-game stretch is, you know, needless to say, super, super important. So uh, that's in the rearview mirror. We'll practice tomorrow, uh, have an under squad tomorrow, and then uh, Wednesday face uh, Northwestern State here at home and then take on Vanderbilt, I believe, at 3 o'clock on uh, Friday afternoon in Minute Maid. So is Wednesday going to kind of be pitching a bunch of guys? Probably, Miami. Kevin. It's, uh, you know, we'll start Murphy Brooks, uh, which is an incredible story in and of itself. Uh, transfer from TCU, highly recruited out of high school. Uh, got a, an illness his freshman year last year and uh, barely made it through that. And uh, I'll, that's his story to tell. I'll just leave that there. Uh, but cost him a year, uh, wasn't able to pitch. And uh, we got him uh, as a transfer. And this will be his first time on the mound essentially since high school. Uh, it's an incredible comeback story, uh, certainly noteworthy, if not newsworthy, and uh, I'm just proud to see him get back out there. He'll go a couple, two or three, uh, and then we'll, we'll take it from there. You could see several arms and maybe some guys you haven't seen. How's Trey feeling? Excuse Trey LaFleur, how's he feeling? I just saw him in the clubhouse. He looked pretty good, so uh, they're having a meeting. Hitters are meeting up right now. Uh, and so I, I would assume kind of what I said yesterday, uh, you know, I, I would I would like to think we'd play him tomorrow, but we'll see. Now, did Murphy, when did he kind of like, was he full and fall in January? Yeah. Or? Yeah. yeah, he's been good. You know, it's a tough staff to crack now. It's uh, there's a lot of mouths to feed down there. And uh, he's he's waited his turn and, and I feel like he deserves it. I asked you this yesterday, but I mean, how challenging has it been just until certain guys start hitting and you just kind of know other guys what to make out a line, a batting order? It's tough. It's tough. It's, you know, there's, there's times I've thought about, you know, it's kind of like you do with the white elephant gifts. You tear up 20 pieces of paper, put them in a hat and start pulling them. I mean, it's, it's, uh, and until you get that cohesion and get rolling, and that's baseball, man. That is hitting, and uh, it, every good hitting team I've had, you don't you don't bang the entire season. There's going to be some ups, there's going to be some downs, and you've got to adjust and respond to that. And uh, I think you saw us take a step towards that. Uh, the tough part for us is it's been you know there's some big dogs in there that that we need to get some confidence in and and get them going. And when that happens, I think you'll see everything else kind of start to fall into place. This is such a, a staging period, the beginning of the season. Uh, you know, there's so many, you're wanting to posture and you're wanting to get off to a good start. Uh, but sometimes the game has other plans for you. And like I told our ball club, sometimes, especially in, in life and baseball, uh, they have a way of passing out the test first and then teaching the lesson. And I think we're in the midst of, of you know, having failed a couple of tests and now we're learning the lesson. Is there any different approach that you tell the guys not to get psyched out because they're playing in a big league park and playing Vanderbilt and LSU? No, I think, you know, as a player, you embrace those opportunities. And for, you know, most of us, that's the only opportunity you'll get to play in a big league venue. For a couple of us, they're going to play in a big league venue. And uh, so that time goes quick, man. I've played in four or five of these or coached in four or five of these. And you look to, you look forward to it for a year. And before you know it, you're getting on the bus and you're leaving and you don't know when you'll ever be back except to watch. And, uh, you know, above and beyond playing in a beautiful, beautiful cathedral like Minute Maid, it's one of the nicest ballparks in the big leagues. Uh, and all of us, for the most part, are Astros fans. And so there's sentimental value there. Uh, 
is the competition that we're going to get to play. And Vanderbilt, top 10 team, uh, I don't know where they'll be at today, but, you know, that's where they've been. And perennially, you know, Corbs is one of the best coaches in the country. So is Jay. Todd Whitting does a great job at U of H. They're playing some good ball this year. It's just a great opportunity for us to, to uh, you know, showcase our abilities and our team and our talents, do so in a big league venue. And I know our fans are travel. Uh our fans, too, this weekend, you know, I was so impressed the way they stuck with us. They just kept packing that place out. And, uh, you know, we didn't play very well offensively or, or defensively, and they just kept showing up. And that tells me something because I've been around this place long enough to know they believe in this team. And uh, and rightfully so. This is going to be a good ball club. We just got to work a couple things out. So what does third base look like right now? I don't know, you know. But I think it's uh, as with any position, uh, unless you've got enough skin on the wall, which nobody does right now, uh, you know, it's a prove it to me position. I thought Lee Amity played pretty good yesterday. Has Wargo earned more at bats than maybe you thought he'd get early <clears throat> on or not there yet? Yeah, I told him that in the game yesterday. I'm, I'm pretty honest with him. And, uh, you know, I went down in the seventh, he was due up fourth. And I told him, I said, I cannot believe I'm about to tell you this. Uh, and he started chuckling. And I said, uh, if you get your at bat this inning, I'm going to let Cheo catch the next two. But if you don't, you're going to go back out. And like I said, I can't believe I'm telling you this. And uh, we had a good laugh over it. It's, he's good for him, man. You know, he sat down in an exit meeting last year and he said, I'm coming back and uh, – I'm going to be your catcher. And I said, well, I don't see it that way, but you're welcome to come back. And uh, I love stories like that, right? And uh, he said, no, I'll be back, and I'm going to be your catcher, and I'll be dang. He's he's playing pretty good baseball. So um, this weekend, what is it? Is it too early to know what the rotation is going to look like, or, or where are you there? I'm going to shake some things up and uh, – you know, announce that later in the week. I'm not ready to announce anything yet. But uh, I think, you know, first couple, two, three weeks, especially at least, you know, heading to La Tech and getting into that first series against Arkansas State on the road, I'd like to have something. Uh, but I think it's up to us as a staff, Gunner, myself, and, you know, Tib, uh, to put these guys in the best position that A, not only makes us successful, B, allows them and their talents to flourish. And uh, so I think we'll make a move towards that this weekend. What 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 are the expectations from you uh, for this weekend uh, with regards to how would you want to see out of your team? Go down and play great baseball, put on a show, and and uh, you know just play great Cajun baseball. It's uh, I'm real big into giving. This is the best fan base in America, and it, I take it personal. Uh, I'm big into giving them their money's worth, and and. Uh, you know, I certainly want to do that this weekend. Is this weekend about more about matchups rotation wise than this in previewing what the conference rotation is going to be like, or the, it's not the same? There's no matchup involved. It's it's what gives us the best chance to get off to a good start. When you're not hitting collectively, as we're accustomed to doing then everything early is magnified, okay? If you are hitting, that's fine. Magnify it all you want because we're going to come back in the middle of the game, okay? Uh, you just don't want to lose it late. Uh, right now, though, what, what's happened a couple of times, and, and hitting is so much uh, – what's happened a couple of times is we've lost the game before it started, really, if you want to be honest. Uh, and And we are – a much better offensive ball club than that. Uh, but you can kind of see it coming. Hitting is a lot of times like coming down with something. Uh, I call I, I call it it's, – it's almost like running a pharmacy. On a daily basis, I'm passing out prescriptions because there's some symptom or ailment that you can see coming. It's first you start sneezing, then you got a sore throat, now your body aches, and next thing you know, you got a sinus infection. Well, if you can treat that before it happens – that's what good hitting coaches, that's what that's what good hitting teams do. 
And uh, sometimes, and not all the time, it's rare, it, it pops up collectively and now you've got an outbreak, right? And that can happen. And we saw some of that. But uh, I think we're on the, the mend, uh, so to speak. And I th we'll, we'll certainly, uh, we're, we will certainly put it all together. I promise you that. And this is a tough week, okay? You've got a trap game. You've got a team coming in that wants to get after you, all right? Uh, you, you struggled some the weekend before. And everybody's looking forward to going where? Men and me. And so we've got to be locked in. We've got to be sharp. We've got to be tough. We've got to be able to have the ability to adjust and, and adapt on the fly. What have you What have you seen out of Northwestern State? Hadn't seen a whole lot of them, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, we've been meeting up all day uh, just as a staff like we always do and, and uh, probably get into that a little bit later this afternoon.